And new details out now on anti-Semitism in the United States. A report released today says it is on the rise, particularly since the war in the Middle East began. NBC 5's Chela Wojciechowski breaks down what they found. A protest this weekend on the Federal Plaza with signs supporting Hamas and chants calling for the end of Israel. From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! In Lincoln Park, car windshields filled with flyers containing anti-Semitic messages. Chicago Jews say they have seen a marked increase in anti-Semitic incidents in the wake of the Israel-Hamas conflict in Gaza. It's deeply, deeply concerning. David Goldenberg is the regional director of the Anti-Defamation League. So when we're standing here in downtown Chicago, literally half a block away from where there was a march with signage that celebrated violence against Jews and chants that called for the destruction of Israel, it's difficult not to be affected by it. The majority of American Jews say they feel more unsafe, according to a report released today by the American Jewish Committee. The most disturbing finding of, of this year is, is just the, the increases that we're seeing uh, in American Jews who say they feel less secure, that the status of Jews in America is less secure than one year ago. Perhaps even more surprising, one in four American Jews say they have been the victim of an anti-Semitic act themselves. 46% of American Jews said that they had changed their behavior out of fear of anti-Semitism. And what the study finds nationwide, Goldenberg says, he sees here in Chicago. We're seeing Jews who are more concerned. They're more concerned about being openly Jewish. The AJC study also found that nine out of 10 Americans, Jewish or otherwise, say it's important for religious and ethnic communities to increase their cooperation with each other. In the loop, Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. Our thanks to Charlie.